Hey guys, today I have another tutorial for you. We will make games safe between sessions using serialization fields. So we have default canvas with text, input field and two buttons. Let's start with creating our data holder. This will have all the data that we want to save. First, let's create string we want to save. Let's add variable for game object we want to save. Let's add another script and call it data control. Here we will add our input field and text field. Remember to add using Unity Engine UI to use them. Now let's add our data holder here. Let's move scripts to our game object. Now saving and loading. First, let's create method load data. We will use player prefs to get data that will be saved. Next, if we have data, we will use JSON utility to save all of our data into our data holder. Now let's use our GUI to show data in our text.
debug log will show us in console how data is saved. Now let's make save data. First, let's set our data to input field value. Then prepare data to save using JSON utility. We'll type false to make our data smaller. Now using player press, we can save our data stream. Let's try to run this. And I forgot to add scripts to buttons. Now when we press save, we will have our data saved, but one problem is that like you can see, our game objects are saved as instance ID. I will show you one way how can you fix this, but there's many. You can't really serialize the object, so I'm gonna save the name of my object and I'm gonna load it this way. So when we load data, we will set our save object to find game object in scene with our save object string name. In save, we will first of all check if save object exists. Then we will get his name or set string to empty.
When we load game it works fine now, but there's one problem. I don't want to serialize our safe object. Let's make it non-serializable, but this way we will not see it in inspector, so let's copy our object to data control. Now we can set our data holder safe object to this object when we save and do other way when we load. Now when we save, we will not serialize it and our string will look better. You can serialize colors and vectors without needing to change it to something else. And I wrote it in wrong script. Now like you can see it works fine. Ok guys that's all for this tutorial, hope it will help you with creating your own saves. I have some simple scripts for the media on my discord, available for people who are supporting me on coffee. Have a nice day and see ya guys!